and the punctuation and so forth. All right. Are you happy with this sentence? Anything there you think you might like to change? No? Well, go on. That's okay. He was born on March 8th. In the old days, you sat them down and you, you went through it with them. You said, you fixed this, 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 and this. And that's the way it was done. If I just tell this kid how to change the paper, so the kid's just being a secretary. And that's not writing. The real aim is not for me to make a perfect paper. It's for that kid to learn how to make changes. Do you see any spelling problem with babies? It's supposed to be I-E-S. The trick is how to learn how to ask children questions so that they make discoveries on their own. But it's tricky. It takes a long time for teachers to learn. Every one of us are learners, and I need to allow my teachers to grow also. This is a very stressful time, this time of reform for all of us. This is not an easy job. This is a difficult job. It's been a stressful year, I must say. It's probably the most stressful year I've ever had. Change is stressful. Despite the anxiety, Rita is already noticing the first small steps her students are making toward becoming writers. The biggest change is in the quantity and the interest that some of them are beginning to show in writing. That's, I think, the real change. Quantity and an interest in writing. That's where it starts. But teachers who have been working with the new approach for two years are also seeing dramatic changes in the quality of student writing. I you passed out your I Hear I Listen papers, and these are the, uh, the finished copies. And again, you guys have given me goosebumps. I, I just am just so amazed at the kindness of writing that you're doing. And I thought this morning we would have some of you read uh, them to us. Let's start with Regina. Would you like to read yours, please? I hear the sound of shotguns in the night. And as I listen, I hear the people screaming for help, and I think, why? I hear the sounds of the early morning, the sun calling me to get, get out of bed, the wind telling me to come out and enjoy the beautiful day. I hear the change in my pockets rattling. I'm here waiting at the bus stop. It's not cold, but frigid. My breathing makes glaciers. A second later, it becomes a cloud. I hear the whispers of gossipers talking about their enemies as they pass through the noisy hallways. When do you hear the sound? Where do you hear the sound? Why do you hear the sound? Some wonderful stuff is happening in there. I can call myself teacher now. When people will ask me, what do you do for a living? I would never say, teacher, especially Chicago teacher. I wasn't proud to be named a Chicago teacher, but now I, I boast about it. We've really shifted away from them. I to keep the momentum going, the teachers in Madeline often meet in small groups to share program ideas and successes. When, when we were trying to pick some things out to, to talk to about compare. today, we wanted to compare what George did last year to what he did this year. He wrote last year, way down deep underneath the sea lies the Titanic way down deep. Way down deep underneath the sea, a watery graveyard way down deep. That was George last year, and he wrote a lot of other wonderful pieces. What he wrote this year, tree feelings. I am a pine tree sitting on the edge of a cliff, looking at all the wonderful things this world has to offer, watching an eagle soar up above me, watching it come down slowly in a spiral motion with all the colors of the sunset flickering to all points. Then the sky turns black, but not from the night, but from pollution, mankind's stupidity. The eagle is shot down by a game hunter. Then I hear the buzz of the chainsaw, ready to cut me down. I wish life was like it used to be, but it isn't. <laughs> what a, what a I've, leap I've, from, yeah, from seventh it. grade to eighth I've grade. Sent this one. To I would like to bet someone. If we would walk into a suburban school, we wouldn't see the kind of writing that's coming out of Irving School today. I, I feel sure about that.